Hi everyone, welcome to the Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the third episode of Clockwork Planet. If you want to check out our reaction to the third episode of Clockwork Planet, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comments section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So, I both mm -hmm. liked this episode and didn't like this episode. It was the best of episodes, it was the worst of episodes. You could say it was missing a couple gears. Yeah. Right, right. This whole anime is missing a couple gears. Well, so, I like the episode itself, but there was a bunch of things where I'm just like, why would you do that? At this time. At this time. Whatever. Well, so there's the part in the beginning where they're sitting in the uh, hotel room, I guess, Ooh. and... Mary just casually talks about killing off now, though. Yeah, she she done fucked It up. was just kind of dumb. I don't know. I guess maybe it would work as a threat, but it didn't really come off that way. Yeah, I guess they're trying to keep her in a sort of cinder character. You know, kind of going for that. But then Ryuzu just wasn't having any of that shit. Yeah, it, yeah, and then there was actually Zero pointed out in the episode. There was the part where uh, Ryuzu, you know, brought out her scythe things and like put them right on Mary's neck. I don't know why she would do that. She, if she was going to protect Naoto, she probably would have just lopped Mary's head off. I think that kind of lends well to what we learn later on the later on the episode, where she has this free will type thing. And it's not necessarily entirely AI and mechanical clockworkiness. It's not an actual programming. Yeah. In which case, she probably would have lopped both their heads off. Yeah, it's still one of those weird things that I find hard to believe any robot would stop a program entirely midway through. Does that make, does that make sense? Mm. Like, uh, yeah, or, unless uh, there's not, not, not a program, a process. Um, so, process one, interpret interpret information, inter interpreted information is technically a threat. Process two, activate on threat and eliminate target. Right, yeah, eliminate threat. Unless Cancel protocol and stop. Yeah, like normally the only way to like cancel process if there's like outside input yeah. to stop the process. So not to you know not to would have to be you know reason stop. Yeah. Or something like that. Well, I mean, I guess it was showing that she is definitely more than just an automaton, but yeah. I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird to me. The fact that they're made of gears. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Fanta, the fact that they're made of gears makes it that much more impossible for me to actually to actually believe that the process would have stopped. Yeah, I mean, the only, like... Well, this was a real-life example. Um, if, if it wasn't for the fact that we did learn later on that there is this certain amount of free will AI system... Yeah, but you're not going to get that with a clockwork mechanism. Yeah. I mean, the only, like... There, life there has to, Yeah, there has to be an AI at some yeah. point in there. I, I don't know. Again, it, it was just a part that kind of stood out to me as a little bit strange. Yeah, or like, I'm a little surprised that she didn't uh, that she didn't attack uh, uh, Halter when he pulled his gun and pointed it at Naoto. It, it's something that I find extremely hard to believe with my knowledge of programming and my knowledge of how clocks actually work the mechanical the mechanical aspects of a clock has to work within a certain precision and when it starts the process doesn't stop until it's out of batteries or you know the or, the, it, yeah, the, the, or the spring the ener out of energy yeah so say the the um, energy has to be you know, yeah oh, I mean yeah I mean the only uh, to be fair though you should probably forget everything you know about clocks with this series yeah. Because these gears are doing things that gears shouldn't do. Yeah, like complex calcula you know, the complex computations. You can only get like the most rudimentary of like binary. The real life example, like I've been trying to share, are uh, old uh, like English weaving machines. Um, 
used to be, uh, uh, seamstresses used to put pegs in in order to assign like thread colors to make uh, tapestries and different sorts of fabrics and what have you. And uh, you know that was purely mechanical, and that's pretty much the most you can do with uh, with any sort of like actual physical mechanical mechanism. Okay, you'd need an electronic circuit to go anything beyond that. Yeah. As Fantasillion just posted, another thing that bugs me about this ep- this episode, well, actually kind of the whole series in particular, you can definitely tell that they're cutting things out. Yeah. Like, things just seem to be happening really quickly. Like, I'd imagine in the light novel, there's probably a little bit more talking there in the hotel room. Um, might uh, be re- That might be responsible for some of the weird, out-of-place moments we get. Yeah. When they reach the core tower. That, like that awkward marriage proposal out of nowhere. Yeah. That was the other part that really bugged me in the episode was the the oh, awkward sorry. bit at the end with... Uh, Disadvantages of adapting light novel. Yep. Always. Or at least trying to compress, compress the information. Yeah, but that should have just been a common sense decision. Don't include a scene that cringy in a, you know... During the part of the story that's supposed to be like heavy action, very important to the story. Yeah, um, maybe maybe that's what got me most about this episode was that I was expecting like heavy action. Yeah. And fighting the, you know, fighting the military automatons, working their way into the core tower. But yeah, this is just this comic dialogue interspersed throughout it all. It's just uh, It's strange. Yeah. It's off balance. Time and place for everything. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Um, this is episode three. Indeed. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to decide on continuing this this anime, this, this series. Well, I on like here. it. On here, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. I want to keep going. Um, despite what we were saying, it's still fun. It's just one of those one of those things that I have to really, really try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, probably of all the series we're watching this season, you really have to suspend your disbelief the most for this to really enjoy it. Because knowledge of knowledge of how mechanics work, and knowledge of how systems and things work, and knowledge of how actual clocks work doesn't make sense here. It's a show. You should really just relax. I know. Yeah, I'm very curious to see where it's going to. So, I think I want to keep watching it. Good. It's you here. Anyway, I think that's about it. Anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. I'm Deacon. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next, next time. time. And go ahead and click my face to go to our most recent Otaku Saga Talks. Click on my face to go to Otaku Saga Gaming, our gaming channel. And click on the wifey to subscribe to Otaku Saga. And if you'd like to help support us, please go ahead and check out our Patreon page. 